Hey everyone, welcome to Skyline Motions and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create glitch text animation in DaVinci Resolve 15. So let's have a look and get started. Alright, so first of all, we have to create a new project. So click on this new project and let's rename it to text animation and click on create. Alright, so now we have to change some settings. So click on this setting button and change this timeline frame rate 24 to 30 fps and change this playback frame rate 30 fps and set this resolution 1920 to 1080 and go to this optimize media and render cast and check this box and this one also for a smooth render preview and click on save all right so now we have to take a solid color so go to this generator and here is solid color so just drag and drop to the timeline something like that and set the duration of this solid color something around six second so drag this solid color something like that and right click on these and click on new compound tip and let's rename it to text and click on create okay now go to this fusion tab and here we get media in and media out so just right click on this flow window and go to arrange tool and check this box to turn on the grid snap and just delete this media in okay and drag this media out over here so now we have to take a text node so click on this text and add a text node and drag this text to the viewer and type your text whatever you want to type so i'm typing create glitch text animation in the Avenger Resolve 15 and now change this font style to Century Gothic. So this is our Century Gothic, click on this and you can choose any type of font style and now we have to set the size of this text. So set this size something around 0 0.2 and hit enter. Okay. And then right click on this flow window and go to guide and here it's show guide so check this and increase the size of this preview window okay now place this text over here and now set the text in center so just drag this first text something like that and set this text according to the guide okay and now go to frame number 30 around one second forward in time and here is layout so click on this and here is center so right click and click on animate and go to frame number 31 just one frame forward in time and drag this second text in center something like that and set this second text according to this guide and go to frame number 60 and right click on center click on set key and go to one frame forward in time and set this third text in center according to the guide something like that okay and then go to frame number 90 and right click on center click on set key and go to frame number 91 and set this fourth text something like that okay and then go to frame number 120 and right click on center click on set key and go to frame number 121 and drag this fifth text something like that okay and then go to frame number 150 right click on center click on set key and go to one frame forward in time and drag this last text in center according to the guide something like that okay now let's play this so it's looking something like that okay now click on this and click on fit okay now we have to create a matte node so just increase the size of this flow window and take a background node so click on this background button and add a background and let's rename it to matte so press f2 on the keyboard and rename it to matte and hit enter and select this matte and add a rectangle mask with this matte so click on this rectangle mask something like that and place it over here 
and drag this both node over here something like that and set this rectangle according to this text press ctrl and a scroll up to zoom in and set this something like that okay now click on this fit okay now let's merge this so take a merge node and connect this yellow point to this mat and green point to this text and drag this merge to the viewer and select this merge and go to inspected tab and here is operator so change this over to in so it's looking something like that okay now we have to add a displace node so press ctrl plus a space bar for search box and search for displace so this is our displace node select this and click on add and now connect this yellow input point to this merge one and drag this displace to the viewer okay now we have to import an alpha image so just go to this folder and here is alpha uh, let me tell you guys i have created this in photoshop and i have put it a link in the description so download this and drag and drop to the flow window okay and drag this to the viewer so it's looking something like that and connect this green point to this media in okay and drag this displace to the viewer now select this displace node and go to this inspected tab and here is type so change this radial to xy and here is x refraction so go to frame number around 30 set this x refraction something like 0.1 and right click on x refraction click on animate and go to five frame backward in time and set this to default and go to five frame forward in time and set this to default something like that so now it's looking like that now go to frame number 60 and set this x refraction something like that and go to five frame backward in time and set this to default and go to five frame forward in time and set this to default and now repeat same thing so go to frame number 90 set this x refraction something like that and go to fr five frame backward in time set this to default and go to five frame forward in time set this to default and go to frame number 120 set this x refraction something like that and five frame backward and set this to default go to five frame forward in time set this to default and now one last time so go to frame number 150 set this x refraction something like that and go to five frame backward in time set this to default and go to five frame forward in time set this to default okay now let's play this animation so it's looking something like that okay now click on this spline window and let's drag this something like that and check this x refraction and click on this fit button select all these keyframes and click on this smooth and select these keyframes and click on this linear button okay and set this cti on frame number 30 and hold this handle and create a curve something like that select this handle and create a curve something like that and do the same thing for all so okay now close this spline and let's play this animation okay now let's attach this media out with this displacement node so just drag this yellow point and attach this to displacement and drag this media out to the viewer and go to edit tab and here is our text so now let's apply this text on a background so just drag this text in upper layer 
and now let's import a footage or image file so go to the folder and import your footage or image file so i'm using this image and you can download this from pixabay.com and i have given a link in the description so download this and drag and drop to the timeline something like that and drag this image something like that okay now select this image and hide this upper layer and go to the fusion tab so select this media in and press ctrl plus a spacebar for search box and search for cc and add a color character node so click on add and select this color character and here is saturation so set this saturation value zero and make it black and white and add a transform node so select this color character and click on this transform button to add a transform and go to the end of this animation and right click on size click on animate and go to frame number zero and set this size value something around 1.2 and hit enter so it's looking something like that okay now go to the edit tab and click on this button so now it's looking something like that okay now we have to create an aspect ratio so let's take a solid color so just drag this solid color something like that and set this something like that okay now select this solid color right click on this click on new compound clip and let's rename it to black and click on create okay now select this black and go to fusion tab and let's add a rectangle mask so select this media in and click on this rectangle mask select this and create a mask something like that and click on invert and now go to the edit tab so now it's done so let's check this animation so click on this loop button and let's play this okay so it's looking awesome and that's all for this tutorial guys i hope you like it so i will see you in next tutorial till then bye bye